Hi, and welcome to Azure This Week. This time, Open Azure Day is on next week, full of open source and Linux goodness. New enhanced DNS features in Azure Firewall and SQL Server Analysis Services VMs now available. Ah, it's good to be back. Daniel got to talk about Azure Space. I like space, so I'm sad I missed out. Uh, oh, you missed out too? Well, check out last week's episode. Come on, we can do it together. Okay, on with the show. How big a percentage of virtual machines on Azure is running Linux? Any guesses? Nope. It's over 50%, more than half. That is because Microsoft loves Linux and supports, you ready? Red Hat, SUSE, Ubuntu, Oracle Linux, Debian, CentOS, CoreOS, Clint Hat, and OpenSUSE. Yeah, all of them. It is no surprise then that next week is Open Azure Day, an event made by Microsoft to help you learn specific ways to make your Linux and open source work easier and more productive. This includes running secure Linux apps, Kubernetes and container features, and hybrid and multi-cloud solutions. The event is online, free, and features two keynotes, four sessions, and 12, oh bugger, <clears throat> yeah, on-demand deep dives, all on Linux and open source with Azure as the backbone. Register today using the link in the description. I'll be joining in too. If you use Azure Firewall, which many do, you have so far been limited to using the Azure DNS. It was hard-coded into the cloud platform like the configuration in my first Delphi 7 app, which was a work of art. From this week, you can now use a custom DNS to configure Azure Firewall to use your own DNS server while ensuring the firewall outbind dependencies are still resolved with Azure DNS. Also this week, the DNS proxy is generally available to forward DNS queries from virtual networks to your desired DNS server. This is a big step forward in keeping your Azure infrastructure secure while configuring the traffic routing to your specific requirements. Other new network features in Azure this week include a fully qualified domain name filtering in network rules, that's hard to say, as well as using Azure Firewall as a DNS proxy to enable private endpoints access from on-premises via Azure Private Link. The Azure Marketplace is where you go to find ready-to-go, off-the-shelf Azure products and services. This could be networking products, database configurations, consulting services, and much more. This week, a new VM image was added to the Marketplace. The, ready, SQL Server Analysis Services VM image. Hmm. It can help make your workloads more efficient and enables an easier onboarding experience to the cloud if you have an on-premises instance that you do want to move to the cloud, more to Azure. Hmm. That is all I have for this week. If you found some new knowledge in this week's episode, give it a thumbs up or two and leave a comment below. Oh, and subscribe to the ACG channel. You'll keep me out of trouble. Yeah. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, right before a big cloud migration that has way too many complex parts to go smoothly, but then you realize that ACG has all the right training, and so there's nothing to fear, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week. Keep learning, cloud gurus.